Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 22 player review and uh, we're going to take a look now at the 88 rated Bruno Fernandes who so far in terms of value is the best player that I've packed so far in FIFA 22 going for around about 150,000 coins, 7 games, 4 goals and 2 assists uh, just so people are aware this is still the first day that I'm playing FIFA 22 so I'm still getting used to the game I have no doubt that if I was to go back in a few days' time uh, and want some more use of the game, go and use them, I probably would get an even better return than the six goal contributions in the seven matches, which is still a pretty decent return. But I think now Bruno Fernandes, with uh, with an upgrade to his car this year, can very much rival the likes of Kevin De Bruyne in terms of like, some of the best number 10s to be able to go for in the uh, in the Premier League, you know, the number 10 being the cam position pretty much traditionally. But um but no, I like this Fernandez card. I thought his, uh, his finishing was nice. I mean, obviously, four goals in the seven games is a return that you can't really complain with, considering he's not really a striker. And obviously, I was even using a formation that used wide players as well. So a lot of the time, I was kind of playing through the wingers and not kind of playing through the middle so much. So to still come away with that kind of return of four goals in the seven games, I thought was very impressive. We've got the 8-9 for both long shots and for shot power, which is very good. I liked his passing. He came in with two assists in the seven games. And again, as, as I mentioned before, if I was using a formation, maybe like the 4 one 2 one 2 formation where it doesn't have, you know, wide players, or if I was using like like another narrow formation that doesn't use wide players, I'd be playing a lot more through the middle, and I probably would have got even more assists in the two and the seven games, but because I had wide players, I was kind of going to the wing a lot of the time for, you know, for Sterling and, and for Saar, um, with, with the loads of pace that they kind of carry. But I like this passing, his dribbling, again, very, very good, 91 reactions, 87 composures, some very nice dribbling stats there. Uh, I thought he was smooth, agile, force our skin as well. So on the whole, a very good card to be able to use. I think he deserves that 9 out of 10 overall raising the value for coins. I've put an 8 out of 10. Um, but to be fair, he, he will go up in price, actually, as as we get nearer to full release. But that's going to be the case of lots of cards uh, as as uh, as full release comes around. I think in the next week or so, he, he'll be over 200,000 coins, in my opinion. But uh, again, great card to be able to use. I think probably one of the best Premier League players uh, in terms of the camp position that you're going to be able to get at uh, at this stage of the game. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, that will finish off this player review. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.